This video gives an introduction to the use of ratio tables. Ratio tables are a tool that can be used to solve many different types of math problems. In the ratio table you have two sections. You have a larger section at the beginning to record the units that the problem is addressing and then you have several different boxes that can be used to generate equivalent ratios to solve the problem. Not all of the boxes need to be used. In addition, you might need other boxes to continue the table in order to find the correct answer. If you think about equivalent ratios as equivalent fractions, the process can be easier. Let's look at an example. If nine girls eat 21 slices of pizza, how many slices can 30 girls eat? First we identify the units in the problem. We have our girls and we have the slices of pizza. Now I need to identify the ratio that is a complete ratio. Here we have nine girls compared to 21 slices. So I'm going to use one set of boxes to show that ratio. Now I need to figure out how many slices 30 girls will eat. Since I have 30 girls, I need to put it in the top section. And I'm going to go ahead and place it towards the end to give myself space. Now I just generate different numbers to create equivalency. So I could start off by multiplying by 2 to get 18. Whatever I multiply one part of the table by, I multiply the other part with the same number. So that would give me 42. Now let me check to see where I'm going. I'm trying to get from 18 9 and 18 to 30. I'm still not quite high enough. What if I double again? Okay, now when I look at it, I see, uh-oh, I'm a little bit too high. So let's see if I can try another method. The equivalent ratios do not have to go in any certain order. If you want to back up, to try a different method, you can. Just continue to use the arrows to help you. So I'm going to go back to my 921st and think about a common factor for 9 and 21. I can divide by 3. So let me try using division. I'm going to divide 9 by 3, giving me a quotient of 3, and divide 21 by 3, and now I have a 7. From this point, I can see 3 times 10 will give me 30. That will allow me to solve the problem. So if I multiply by 10 with my 3, I do the same thing to the 7. And that would tell me that for 30 girls, I would need to buy 70 slices of pizza. This can be used in other types of problems as well.